Mm. One step reconstruction of spinal pelvic stability with the 3D printed sacral endoprosthesis after total end block sacrectomy. Dr. Henry. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, as we all know, the primary malignant sacral tumor involving the upper sacrum requires TES. After TES, the bone defect often requires reconstruction. The reconstructive method could be generally divided into three categories, SPF, PPRF, and ASCF. According to literature, the combined reconstruction, including ASCF, is suggested to be the optimal reconstructive method. However, the procedure is too complex. As a result, the standard reconstructive method remains controversial. 3D printing technique has been widely used in orthopedic surgeries. It is conducive to bone, con uh, bone ingrowth on the bone contacting surfaces, which has been proved by several researchers. We have published a technique note about using 3D printed endoprothesis for reconstruction after TES. In this study, we intended to further describe and evaluate the outcome of that. 32 TS treated patients were enrolled in our study, including 10 patients who were willing to use 3D printed endoprothesis for reconstruction with fully informed consent. The design of the prothesis stemmed from the concept of an endoprothesis with porous bone implant interfaces that could connect to lumbar spine and ilium, connect both sides of ilium, and rebuild the structure of loading transfer through anterior spinal column in one step while conducive to bone ingrowth to the trabecular pores. According to reconstructive options, we categorized patients into three groups. The endoprothesis group included 10 patients. Combined reconstruction, including ASCF group, uh, included 14 patients, and SPF group included eight patients. The spinal pelvic stability was evaluated using the scoring of pain and motor in the scoring system for patients received sacrectomy, which was proposed by us. The, uh, here are the definitions of uh, different implant failure and IS documented in our study. Uh, here are the statistical analysis method used in our study. All surgeries accomplished smoothly in, in the prothesis group after a mean follow-up time of 17.7 months. Nine patients could walk without aids and eight patients were without using analgesic. The imaging implant failure were found in three patients and all of them were breakage of screws and or rods, of whom only one patient with recurrence received reoperation, uh, in which the rigid also integration was found, while other two patients dispensed with reoperations. Uh, this is a 14-year-old female patient with sacral Ewing sarcoma. She underwent a one-stage TES through posterior approach and endoprothesis combined SPF reconstruction. The whole surgery took three and a half hours and the hemorrhage was 2,400 milliliters. After a 12-month follow-up, the x-ray showed no evidence of implant failure and the CT scan showed some signs of new bone formation. She could walk without AIDS and she was pain-free. After that, we compared the baseline data of different group, resulting in no differences indicating that the results were comparable. Here are the comparisons of spinal pelvic stability and index of surgical safety among three groups. Here are the comparisons of IS among three groups. Uh, we believe that the advantages of using 3D printed endoprothesis for reconstruction after, 3D, uh, after TES could be summarized in three aspects. Firstly, the comprehensive biomechanical structure secures the spinal pelvic stability. In our study, the patients in the prothesis group showed optimal reconstructive, uh, optimal spinal pelvic stability similar to the combined reconstruction, including ASCF. It could attribute to that the endoprothesis is designed to be a comprehensive reconstructive system which integrates the biomechanical characters of SPF, PPRF, and ASCF uh, in line with the ideal reconstructive method. Um, the combined reconstruction, including ASCF. Uh, it has been verified by a finite element analysis performed in our center by Dr. Ji and Dr. Huang. Secondly, the 3D printed trabecular structure on the bone in the prothesis interfaces secures the IS. In our study, there were no differences in comparison of IS using imaging implant failure as endpoint. Uh, as a re uh, 
in condition of using reoperation as endpoints, the IS in the prothesis group was significantly better than that of SPF group and was similar to that of combined reconstruction group. It might attribute to the rigid osteointegration, which at, uh, resulting from the bone ingrowth on the bone in the prothesis interface induced by 3D printed trabecular structure, which uh, secured the long-term survival of the reconstruction, regardless of the breakage of screws and rods. Thirdly, the one-step reconstruction procedure secures the safety of surgery. In our study, the surgical time hemorrhage and perioperative complication rates in, in the prosthesis group show no differences to other two groups. It is because that the preset screw holes and screw heads on the prosthesis could facilitate the installation of the prosthesis and simplify the reconstructive procedure. In conclusion, we argue that the application of 3D printed endoprothesis for reconstruction after TES could provide reliable spinal pelvic stability in IS by facilitating also integration at the bone implant interface with acceptable surgical time, hemorrhage, and complications. Thank you.